Hello guys, this is my first ever tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how I record and make smooth in TF2. This is something a lot of people asked me, so I will try my best to go over everything you will need to know about TF2 recording. There will be a lot of information, so try to follow the steps as I'm doing them. To record you will need Laguna Recording Tool, Virtual Dub, and HLAE. The link will be in the description. The tutorial will be in two parts. The first part will be a quick reminder of what Laguna is and how to use it. And the second part of the tutorial will go over all the different techniques you can use to record smooth in TF2. So you just open Laguna, this is how it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly over the options. File, you can select another folder uh, if you selected something you don't know. At the beginning it asks you to to choose a movie folder. Make sure you have enough space on your computer. So this is mine. Uh, you can go into your TF folder at any time. At the next option, you can select tenants particles. Most of them are good. You can use every single one of them if you want. But for this tutorial, we'll just go with none. You have custom settings if you want to add bind when launching Lamina. I have some of them that are useful for me. You can select to have no sound if you want, or gravity that just make the ragdolls fly more, or minimize your model, you can take it off to prevent any bad surprise. And you have the launch mode. I'm just going to default for this one. Help, we don't need that. You can choose the resolution of the recording you are going to do. We'll go, just go with 720 for now. FPS you are recording at. 60 is good for this tutorial. You can choose between different skyboxes. Uh, so yeah, just play with the options. I'm gonna go with default and just use the same settings for the rest. You can also have custom files and select them on the right. So let's just launch it for now. So yeah, I just opened a random demo. I'm just gonna go to random tick and start recording just to show you. I just say I want to record the POV.scout. I can just hide the HUD with H and press P at any time to record. It's now recorded in 60 FPS. Now you can just hit P to stop recording. Let's just go into the movie file we selected, we have a lot of files going on. Open virtual dub and drag the first image. It will automatically take the, all the other ones you have your clip. So to render it, just press Ctrl R or go into video and frame rate. Change it to 60, because that's the frame recorded at. And press OK if you want the audio. You can just select it here and go into frame rate and sync it with the video time duration. Press OK. I don't record with audio. So just press F7 to export the clip. Select where you want it. Or just go into file and save as AVI. That's the same. And just export it. Whatever you want. The name, POV, save. And you got your video file at high quality. So that's pretty much it for the recording part. Next thing we want to do is smooth our demos. So just download HLE, drop all of those files into one folder, go into Lavina Advanced option, launch with HLE, and just select the HLE location. For me, it's here, and I just select this, open, and launch CF2. Play a demo, for example, this one, and create a smooth with the first technique. We'll just be playing the demo in slow motion and make the smooth as the demo is playing. The cam is faster than the class, so it's pretty easy to follow. Let's go to 600. I just say I want to follow this soldier. 
what you want to do now that you have Domino actually launched, just bind something to the in camera cam path add that's that's how you add a camera so just bind something the same as for So it actually adds camera, I always did it. So I just play the demo at slow motion. Go into spectator demo, this is a STV demo, so I can move around. You can also change the FOV with move FOV in the console. Type any number. And here you can just press mouse forward to add the cam. Make sure you have a slow sensitivity when you do this. You can move around like this. And just press when you want to add the cam. Alright, I think that's enough. Let's see what we did. Go back, play the demo. So that's just a smooth we did right there by clicking and adding cameras. You can redo it if you want. Just type in the console move cam path clear. And it will really delete it already. I have it binded to mouse 5 so I can just press mouse 5 and redo the smooth. But you get the idea. Now I'll just show you the second technique you can use to make a smooth. So let's say I want to follow the red medic. And we just type in the console nerve input camera. What it does, it allows me to pause the demo and move the camera, which is something that is impossible to do without actually. You can also rotate the camera with the Z and X key. So let's just follow the medic, I guess. Add the cam path with the mouse 4. Press escape. Play the demo again. Press Merv input camera if you banned it. It's good if you don't just type it in the console again. And just add the camera. Do it again. Press your bind key to input camera, place a camera, pause the demo, place another camera, rotate it if you want, play the demo, and that's it. Well, let's see what we have. So that's the cam path right here. It's a little bit choppy because I did this first, but you get the idea. Just pause the demo, place your camera wherever you want, and that's it. You can hit P to record your smooth. So the next thing I want to talk about is how to record green screen weapon. Basically the idea is to record the POV of the player twice, once without the view models and the map, and the second time with the view models and a green screen. So what we want to record is a air shot. So let's just see the action. Uh, so he jumps and air shot the guy. The action starts at 42,300 and ends at, let's say, 42,700. So let's just go into edit and make a play command. Go into the time you stick and select 42 300 and just paste this host frame rate the frame rate you want to record the pov at i'm just going to go with 120 this time and the name i'm just going to call it soldier add another command time you stick again and the end of the pov so it's 42 700 and just type end movie Press OK, go back in time. 
go to the POV of the player, hide the head and the view models. So I have a bind to hide the view models, but you can type out draw view models in the console zero. And just hit play. It will start recording at 120 FPS. That's why it's a little bit slower this time. No, it wasn't that bad. Okay. So you can hit stop and there will be files in your TF folder this time. Open Virtual Dub, drag it, and that's your POV right here. You just export it at 120 and save it into virtual dub file. Let's call it POV and save. Next thing you want to do is record the green screen. So what we want is a green sky. I have one. It will be in the description. So let's just wait for it to stop, then relaunch. So as you can see now the sky is green, so we are still have our play commands. We can modify them, let's just call it green for example. And press OK, go to the tick again. Hide the head, go to the Sodio POV. And just press, uh, we have a bind for this, it's just a batch of commands that allows you to put a green screen. Just like this, and just press So we are we have our green screen recorded, so let's just go into your tier folder. Save it, call it green. That's basically how you record a green screen in TF2. So last thing I want to talk about is how to speed up all this process of recording by using a AVI recorder. It basically skips the virtual dub thing, so it's pretty useful. You just need to install it and set it up. Uh, locate the file where the image icons will be running and where you want the virtual file to appear. Make sure you have the same frame rate for Lawina and AVI recorder and disable the frame blending by putting one and one over here. You can select both of these. The first one just delete all the image sequence after the video is done. So you can press OK and just type start recording. It will basically make a video out of the image sequence as you are recording in Lawina. So let's just play a demo, for example. So I'm just going to run to Chalk as a scout. So I just press resume and start recording. It will automatically notify me. Press P. As you can see, it's recording. Just press P to stop. Looks like it's done. Click on stop recording on AVI recorder and just go to the picture of the file. And here you have your video clip. You just basically skip the virtual dub steps, so that can make you win a lot of time. I hope all those tips were useful for you and I will see you in the next video.